They studied hundreds of people over long periods of time, spent years thoroughly exploring the depth of the human mind. The longest study on happiness took place at Harvard University, and they studied 80 years, basically people's entire lives. And what they find is that people's happiness, the happy ones, were not, it wasn't determined by how rich they were. And they weren't more religious. They didn't even exercise significantly more. They were simply those with the stronger relationships. Relationships is what makes us resilient. I have a colleague at the University of Virginia. She's doing her PhD, basically looking, working with communities of immigrants from Mexico. And she finds that, she, she tells me, Shalavit, those people, compared to the white people that I work with, that I find those people to be happier and more resilient. And basically her assumption is that those people have stronger bonds. They have a strong community and strong family connections. So I invite you to, if you want to increase your resilience, really the strongest thing to do is to deepen and strengthen your close relationships. It could be a relative, it could be a friend that you already have, it could be a family member. That is what would make you more resilient. Having someone that you could trust, that you know that their heart is with you, someone that would be there for you to tell you about what's good in you when times are rough. And if you don't have someone like that, you could go ahead and be that person for someone else. That is what's going to make you more resilient. I'm Dr. Shalavit Simcha, and you could be that person for someone else.